everybody. Well, today Curtis has his July issue of the Binks box. And I thought we'd do an unboxing. And here's Phoenix to make it the All About Phoenix show. So we're going to take a look at what's inside. They didn't have the June box because they usually take a break in January and in June. But now we've got the July one. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Come on, Phoebe. Yeah. I know. I know. You want the box. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. He's like, oh, oh, is that for me? Look at that. Oh, it's a little surfer bun. How cute is that? Oh, so cute. Look at that. I'm not going to look at the contents yet. I want it to be a surprise. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, Curtis. Phoenix, you are weird. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a little... Looks like it's made out of corn husk or palm leaf and tied together with sisal. A little packet. Look at that. Like that? There you go. Like that? Oh boy. He's like, oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh yeah, you'll have fun making a mess with that. Phoenix says, I want the box. Come on, dude. Okay. Oh, you like that. Huh. Come on, Feeny Beanie. Come on. Come on. Scoot your bum. <sighs> yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah, cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little hot and out of breath today. My anxiety's been off the charts. I think it might partly because I, I don't have one of my evening supplements has been out of stock for a while, and so I haven't been able to take it, and it's been messing with me. But anyway, let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a little biscuit, bunny and biscuit. I like these little biscuits because I can put some of his loose treats in them. Here, let's get that foil off of there and yeah, we'll do that later <laughs> phoenix well anyway there's that yes what do we got here oh holy cow that'll keep you busy for a while won't it buddy mm. willow you can definitely tell by the smell he's had one of these before takes him a while to get through it that's nice. Yeah, he'll he'll be gnawing on that for a while. He likes to pick stuff up and throw it out of his way, and it's so funny. So we're going to put that right there. You, Phoenix, you are about as subtle as a bulldozer. You know that? Yeah. Come on, bro. Curtis. Okay, what do we got next? Oh, <laughs> Gosh, a little little rings. I think these are like peeled willow or peeled willow or some kind of twig. Those are cute. It's the right size too. I can put them put them around this little stuffed animal's necks. And you can pick them up, toss them, and chew them. Here you go. You want those? I think Phoenix is more excited than Curtis. Curtis, he was playing earlier. This is about the time he settles down for his nap anyway. Isn't that right, bro? Yeah. That's okay. I need one, too. I haven't been sleeping. My insomnia has been... I don't know if it's everything going on. I'm just picking up on all the yucky energy in the world right now or what, but... Between that and being out of my supplement, I just have not been myself. And whoever I am, won't. I don't like that old bat at all. <laughs> I don't know who she is, but it's not me and I don't like her. <laughs> Look at you, orange cream sickle belly. <sighs> orange cream sickle belly. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there's another one. Oh, those are so cute. He's got three. I might share these with his cousins. 
Yeah, I might share those. Is it okay if I share them with S and O? So let her know when I live. And <laughs> I think I'm gonna hire you out as a bulldozer. You're strong enough and big enough. There, Jano. Roswell's down there. She's like, I don't want any part of these rowdy boys. Okay, you two. The last thing I need is a cat fight in the middle of my lap. I just got a wasp sting healed up. I don't need any cat claws. Oh. oh. <laughs> little rattle. That's cute, Ellie. Yeah, Ooh, that is smooth, too. Yeah, I like that. Sand it off. It won't have any. You know, I bought that for the rabbit. You do know that, right? It's <laughs> so cute. I like that. I think you might have one already. I don't remember. That was more than five minutes ago. And my... I don't know. My, I think my brain took off for greener pastures and doesn't bother to tell me. But there is that. Oh, look at that. I think he likes the little corn husk thing. Last one. Oh, look at these. A little sizal seagrass, I guess, maybe. Chew toys. Oh, those are so cute. Oh, my goodness, Curtis. Here, Feeny, you want one? You can have one, too. Shano. Oh, he found, oh, he found the new toy from the Cat Lady box. Awesome. No. Now, I give you something. Now you don't want it. You only wanted it when I said you couldn't have it. Oh, he sees our Jeno playing over there in the corner. Yeah, you leave him alone. I wish you guys would all play together nice. But like I said before, Phoenix occasionally comes off as being kind of strong and overbearing. He's just not a subtle cat at all. I think a lot of ginger cats are like that. But... And he doesn't mean any harm, but he just comes, he's got such a strong personality and, well, Roswell tends to be a bit more introverted like me and it kind of freaks her out. Sometimes anyone, human or animal or anything with too much energy, it, it scares me too. That's why I don't like big dogs jumping all over me. It just freaks me out. I also have extreme sensitivity to sound. I was never tested, but I think I might be might be on the might be on the autism scale. I might have other issues. I don't know. I was never tested. My parents just assumed I was a bad kid and tried to smack it out of me. So yeah, I've got a lot of trauma there, folks. <laughs> Now there's a thing you know I overshared and I'm regretting it, but I don't know. It helps to openly talk about things like this because that way people can understand a little bit more. And it's it's not who I am. It's just what I have and what I deal with. It doesn't make us bad people if we have issues. It just hopefully helps people understand better. Although some people, I don't think they even want to understand. Isn't that right, buddy? This turned out, it started out as a simple unboxing and it turned into a philosophical, psychological discussion. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Here. <laughs> Here you go. Since you don't have your own anymore. Ha 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 ha. See what I did there? Oink. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your orange creamsicle belly. He's an orange creamsicle, and Curtis is a hot fudge sundae in his eyes with a cherry on top. Mm -hmm. So that's why you should adopt a ruby-eyed white bunny. They're sweet and darling, and they're like clouds of vanilla ice cream, and their eyes is a cherry on top, and that's what makes them extra special. Yeah. Okay, see that is the July Binks box. He'll probably get up and play with it later. It's hot right now. He sleeps through the hot part of the day. We see ya, huh? Okay, say so everyone have a good day. Stay safe, and we love you. Mommy's gonna go out and do a little shopping now before it gets too much hotter.
Okay, well, there's some relaxing purring for you before we end the film. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Got your tail. Ooh, all right, gentlemen, if I may use the term so loosely. Okay, signing off. Okay, we hope you enjoyed, everybody. Take care now. Say bye.